What's up everybody, my name is Patrick and I'm going to show you how to use a controller to play games like Guild Wars 2 or any other kind of MMO. Uh, I got my warrior, Pat Patrick, going right now. Why don't you say hey to everybody, Patrick. Hey. He's going to show us how easy it is to play with some sticks. So let's just get into it. Um, a few things I want to point out. I have a uh, weird resolution windowed mode going with the game. So you can see my character's actions all the things you can do and if you look in the bottom right hand you'll actually see XPatter which is the uh, program I run in the background to emulate keyboard presses as you use the Xbox 360 controller um, I also have uh, one thing I need to point out is to enable the cursor to be shown as I move through the UI of XPatter I had to keep cursors on all the time and Guild Wars 2 seems to not like that and even when I'm in camera look mode the cursor stays visible so you'll see the cursor kind of being crazy whenever I'm looking around and moving so just ignore that things work like they're supposed to it just doesn't hide the cursor like it usually does in an MMO when you're looking around anyway let me turn down the game a little bit uh, so let's just get into it I'm gonna introduce a few things and uh, give you a preface real quick uh, about what you can do you can run around you can mouse look like a third person uh, shooter jump you have all your action buttons in the bottom uh, mapped keys. I uh, even have important things such as cursor mode and an MMO. You'll notice now the cursor's moving. I'm using my right stick to do this. Uh, I can pull up menus. Uh, I can even snap the cursor back to the middle of the screen, which is important when you're trying to land AOE targeted spells with the sticks. So you'll notice my cursor's way over here. As soon as I release the back button, it snaps up there. So let's just uh, start from the beginning and go through some of the basics. I'll go through them quick. And uh, I have all my uh, buttons on my X pattern set to uh, buttons on the right side of the keyboard, such as number pad and plus sign and all that good stuff. It frees up the left side of your contr uh, contr uh, keyboard because I know MMOs like to give you two different keybinds for each one. So you can have keybinds for regular control movements on your uh, X pattern Xbox 360 controller. It also frees the left side of your keyboard for regular keyboard and mouse controls. Um, I'll teach you how to uh, assign, assign uh, numpad buttons and whatever to your XPatter in future tutorials. This is just meant to preview some of the things you'll be able to do. So I have movement set to uh, my left stick. Strafe left and right, forward and backwards. No big deal there. I have my right stick set up in such a way where as soon as you start moving the stick, the cursor would normally hide itself and now you can look up down left and right just by moving your right stick around um, you can also run around and move and look and like I said it's almost like a third person shooter at this point uh, I have the jump button set to my A button on the controller so pretty standard for a jump and an action game to be the A button I have my attack buttons set to and I'm going to go down the line down here, uh, one through five here. Uh, first action is right trigger. It's my regular auto attack. Uh, left trigger is my second ability. X button is my third ability. Y button throws that sword as my fourth ability. And the B button does my fifth ability, which is a charge attack. And now that I got an enemy pulled, let's do some combat. With being able to look around, I can circle strafe and attack at the same time, no problem. I can even slice and dice with my second attack. There's a little buddy passing by. I guess it's a ranger. So those are the basic movement, attacks, and jumps. Uh, Guild Wars has that I iconic dodge button. I've set that to my right stick click. So as I'm running around, I'm already having my finger on the uh, camera button, so I can immediately just dodge without a second, seconds delay. Left stick click is auto run. We all know we love our auto runs and MMOs. Uh, to target, I use uh, my left bumper and right bumper as modifier keys. All right. So if I hold down my left bumper and press my right trigger, Remember, we got button modifiers, so we can free up more buttons for us just by holding down my left bumper. I can toggle between all the enemies on screen. If I hold down my right bumper and press the left trigger, so it's kind of like a mirror, mirrored effect. Right bumper, left trigger. I can select all my buddies up there from the Lion Guard. 
So modifiers and triggers allow you to tab target, modifier, left modifier, left bumper modifier, and the uh, face buttons allow me to use my utility spells. And I'm a shout warrior, so I have a bunch of things I like to yell. I'm an angry person, I guess. Uh, anyway, so uh, Guild Wars also has a heal and a elite ability. Just to make sure I don't accidentally hit these because they're pretty precious and uh, cooldown intensive. I will hold down left bumper and right bumper. I got my heal set to A. That gives me some health. And I got my elite ability set to B. So I was able to access those two abilities using both bumpers held down and A and B. Alright, so some of the more advanced aspects that I've figured out for the controller. Oh, don't let me forget about interact. It's just set to start. So there's really nothing to interact with right now. I don't want to go fight that dude. It's not a fighting video. So I will I will refrain from reviving that guy. But interact is set to start. So some of the more advanced things you may want to get accomplished with an MMO is being able to use your cursor to uh, interact with menus, uh, different things in the world. I figured that out. Uh, if you'll notice in the X pattern window down there, I have MMO and MMO UI. Those two little tabs at the bottom. I've got it set up where as long as you're holding the back button, we go into UI mode. Right, tri uh, right stick becomes cursor move. All right, so I'm just using my uh, right stick to move the cursor around. Left trigger is left click, and I can hold down that left trigger and use the cursor button now to move my camera if I needed to. Right trigger is right click, so that's useful if you want to talk to somebody or do th do all the things right uh, click does in an MMO. Uh, I have escape bound to my uh, start button that opens up options, this and that. It also closes out windows. It also clears out uh, things you may have tab targeted. Uh, I have all the menus in UI mode. Remember, I mean, I'm holding down the back button for UI mode. I have menus set to the face buttons. X is hero, B is inventory. I can up my map using the uh, A button, and I can even hold down the trigger and use my right stick to move around the map. And I could teleport to different waypoints if I wanted to using my triggers. An important thing uh, as well with cursor mode, you know. If you're messing with your cursor and you, you were in your hero screen, you had you were looking at these, these axes over here. Uh, if you close down that, you want your cursor to snap back to the top of your head. So uh, I'll explain that why in a second. But I'll just go ahead and show you that if I have it set up where if you release the back button on the controller, it automatically snaps the cursor above the head. All right, that's useful because the warrior has, uh, and most classes in Guild Wars, and most classes in in any MMO have an AOE targeted ability. I'm going to switch weapons here by holding down the left bumper and pressing the A button. That's the uh, shortcut I have for swap weapons. The warrior's bow has a AOE reticle. And you're probably asking yourself how can you aim AOE abilities without a mouse? Well since we have that cursor right above our head notice I'm in UI mode and I'm able to move uh, the reticle just like regular with a regular mouse. Well notice how whenever I snap back my reticle and then start camera looking. Ignore the mouse. Uh, remember that I can't turn off the uh, cursor mode when I'm recording this. But if you just look at the AOE reticle, it now quickly becomes uh, almost like a crosshair, like if you were playing a uh, shooter or whatnot. Um, instead of a floating crosshair, it's a uh, circle on the ground. And I can look up and down to change the distance of the reticle, and of course left and right to aim it. So I can really line up my shots quite well. I press the uh, X button again to launch my attack and it was quite easy to set up that attack on there. I'm going to switch to my sword because the warrior also has a uh, whirlwind attack that does like a line skill shot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to line it up, press it again, and I was able to line up my uh, in line skill shot pretty easy. So those are some of the capabilities you'll be able to do if you follow my uh, setup by getting everything running. I haven't really ever been held back by using a controller. Um, I'm able to hold my own in PP, PvP, if you believe it or not, uh, and I'm able to quest normally, and I rarely have to put my hands on my keyboard and mouse using the setup, because I have that you know UI cursor mode active. And you always can um, put your hands on your mouse uh, if you want more fine control, if you're doing a lot of menu interactions or crafting or something. There's nobody telling you you can't you know have one or the other. You can use both. So in future tutorials, I'll show you uh, how to set up X pattern 
from bare bones, you know, we got to assign buttons to uh, the key presses on the keyboard all the way to getting the advanced things like cursor snapback and uh, being able to use multiple tabs here in the uh, expatter profile we have going on. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I hope you, uh, you know, maybe are a believer that maybe controllers aren't so terrible for MMOs after all. Maybe I'll do a video at the end of all this showing some combat using nothing but the controller. Thanks guys.